Okay, the reference minus 120 is going to be in the third quadrant. The reference is 60 degrees. Certainly another triangle. Root 3, uh, 2, and 1. And uh, third quadrant, so let's take a look at that. We got the R. The R would be 2. The X and the Y are both negative. So let's see. The X is going to be minus 1, and the Y is going to be minus root 3. I'll start writing things down now. And the sine of X. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't use X and Y. Let me just erase that. The abscissa, I'll call it A. And the ordinate, I'll call it B. All right, we've done that before. What do you get over here? It's going to be minus root 3 over 2. The cosine of x is going to be minus 1 over 2. Uh, let's see, the tangent of x is going to be uh, minus root 3 over minus 1, which is just root 3. And then the reciprocal functions, they want me to put those down as well, like the cotangent of x. That's going to be 1 over root 3. If you want to rationalize that, that would be root 3 over 3. Let's see the uh, secant of x. I can write that down. What does that equal? That's going to be minus 2, reciprocal of cosine. And the reciprocal of sine, cosecant, is going to be minus 2 over root 3. And again, if you want to rationalize that, that would be minus 2 root 3s over 3. Let's get a red pen out and see how we've done. And let's go one at a time. Sine. Got that right. Cosine, got that right. Tangent, got that right. Cotangent, got that one. Secant, got that one. And, uh, well, they wrote this one down. Yeah, everything's looking good. Thank you.